before the committee. I appreciate it. Um, you have, I've listened carefully, and throughout your testimony, you've made it very clear that Starbucks prefers its workers not to be unionized. unionized. But I think you know that decision is up to workers pee, under back. federal law. Um, I just have been disappointed, I have to tell you, from a number of my constituents I've been hearing from about some of the widespread anti-union efforts at Starbucks, including in Washington State, where the NLRB has certified 19 elections, as you know, at Starbucks stores. They have issued 71 complaints covering 31 unfair labor practice charges, and NLRB judges have issued two decisions now finding that Starbucks violated federal law. So let me just ask you a simple question. Do you agree that it is workers who get to decide whether they want a union? Well, Senator Murray, I, I agree that the person at Starbucks has the right under the law to decide whether or not they want to join a union. And Starbucks Coffee Company also has the legal right to provide a vision for our employees, which currently represent 99 percent of the 250,000 who wear the green apron, that our vision is a preference to maintain our direct relationship. And in terms of what you said, as I said to Chairman Sanders, those are allegations and Starbucks Coffee Company unequivocally has not broken the law. Um, let me just share with you, I, and I heard you answer Senator Hickenlooper with treating your um, employees with dignity and respect, yes. which I appreciate. But I am hearing from a number of folks really troubling reports um, about Starbucks refusing to allow credit card tipping, cutting employee hours, holding the loss of critical benefits like health care, uh, insurance, and gender-affirming care over the heads of employees who are trying to exercise their rights. And I've even heard reports, so you know, uh, about uncertainty for union employees about whether or not they would receive abortion travel be benefits, which all your workers receive. I I'm concerned when I hear from my constitu constituents about unfair Chad, you're annoying. any kind or denying benefits unfairly, even when the union agrees to waive its right to bargain. I, I would assume you would agree that that doesn't constitute treating someone with dignity or respect if they are being threatened. Senator Murray, uh, you, know, you and I have known each other for quite a while, uh, you being the senator of our home state. I think you have many times actually talked about Starbucks as a model. This is the wild part. Like, why the fuck does a CEO of a corporation like personally know a motherfucking uh, representative or a motherfucking senator? Like, why? Like, and also, why is that not alarming? Because when you hear that, you don't think something has gone awry. Okay? Something is wrong here because, once again, this is a state built with the express purpose of improving profit margins for people like him. By that, I don't mean Washington. I just mean like the American government or all matter of governments, especially in the Western world. That's why you don't even think twice about a fucking CEO turning around and being like, you know, I've known you for a while. You know, we go way back, homie. Stop saying they've been fucking, obviously. No, they're not. These guys don't fuck, okay? They only fuck workers. Model employer in many of the uh, meetings that you've had and speeches that you've given. Uh, I do take offense, I have to admit, because it's quite personal when you bring up things that you've heard that are not true. We have never, ever taken any benefit away, and we never would, of anyone who was interested in joining a union. We simply have said that under the law, our understanding is we did not have the right to provide incremental benefits during the bargaining process. But Howard Schultz, the leadership team of Starbucks, the board of directors, some of whom are here today, would never take benefits away of any kind of someone who was involved in trying to join a union. Well, thank you for the answer. I'm giving you the question, so you have a right to respond. That's why I'm yeah. asking. Okay. But you should know that, that those are some of the things that I hear, and I wanted to hear your response. Yeah. Okay. And, and I've also heard allegations that Starbucks has interfered with employees' ability to testify, including in Seattle, where, where an administrative law judge found that Starbucks did that. Can you respond to that charge? I have, I have no knowledge of that, Senator Murray. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Cassidy. I defer to Senator Tuberville. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Cassidy. Uh, do you think he really believes all this shit? He's a through and through neolib? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Yo, you hit number one on Reddit? Yeah, I saw, but I didn't actually. I'm just in the corner, weirdly enough. I find it pretty funny that I'm in the corner there, though. Like, it's just literally uh, the mouse strikes again. Just subtly doing propaganda, you know? Mr. Schultz, thank you for being here. Thank well, you. I know this, this is pretty tough at times, but uh, it's good to hear your side of the story. I came from the coaching profession. You know, for years I talked to young kids every year at the beginning. Hell yeah, Senator Tuberville. Oh, my God. Why does Senator, Senator Tommy Tuberville have the same? Did he used to wear gauges? Like, what's going on? Brother, he got them gauge, meaty ass gauge ears, dude. Look at that. God damn. <laughs> Yo. Bro, the gravity is winning, brother. I don't want to see what. Bro, you know, when you see ears like that, you know his balls have to be fucking taped to his leg, okay? Gravity has won this battle against Tommy Tuberville. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I can't even, I, I can't, I can't take him seriously. I mean, he's such a freak, but. I love, okay, let's watch. In the year about they all wanted and needed something. I always told them one thing. Only thing you get from me. I love when you're an NCAA coach and you're talking about labor rights. And, and it's like you're, you're talking about like the closest analogy that, <laughs> that you could bring up is like basically kind of slavery with some extra perks. That irony is, is not lost on me. I wonder if it's lost on others. <laughs> you know you know how it is <laughs> when I was doing similar labor practices to you in the NCAA notorious for its <laughs> non-exploitative labor practices <laughs> for me and from this country is an opportunity and you took that opportunity and ran with it and you've got a lot of people that work for you over the years and work for your company and their company and made something out of themselves. So thank you for that. You've, you've been a, a huge uh, uh, idol for this com country in terms of what you've done. Dude, right-wingers, like, uh, defending perhaps the gayest CEO is so funny. It's just purely out of principle. Like, I love that. Like, Starbucks is, like, notorious, right, for, like, all the non-binary workers or whatever. I mean, they literally pay for facial feminization surgery. Like, and, and you got all these fucking right-wingers that have completely lost the culture war side of the argument, specifically so they can suck him off. Because, you know, he's a CEO, and he's on this congressional hearing because he violated labor laws. Like, that's, that's how it, the one thing that gets these culture war-obsessed perverts to stop doing, like, Starbucks is doing a war on Christmas type shit is when the fucking CEO is under fire for rampant violations of labor law. Think about that. I love that, dude. I fucking love that. They're, I mean, it's just, they're animals, all of them. Actually. But yet you use an iPhone? Yeah, I, I do. Which was made by communists. 
communist workers. That's right. I do use an iPhone, dude. I do. And you know who made those iPhones? Motherfucking communist workers, baby. That's right. What's it to you, bitch? Who do you think makes the iPhones? Tim Apple? Or workers? Thank you to the wonderful Foxconn workers who have definitely the best labor uh, conditions that you can imagine. 